Okay, welcome back to the channel guys. And today we're going to describe how to put a radio into crossband repeat mode. Not all radios will do crossband repeat. It does require a radio to have dual receivers. This radio I have in front of me is a Yaesu FT8800. It's also similar on the Yaesu FT8900. And these are both very popular rigs uh, for this particular purpose. And it has dual receivers, so you'll notice there's actually two numbers here, one on the left, one on the right. Those are the two separate receivers built into this one radio. So effectively it's like two radios in one. The way that crossband repeat works is we're going to transmit on one band and receive on the other. So on the left hand side here, I'm going to set it to two meters. And on the right hand side receiver, I'm going to set it to 70 sems. It will then listen on both, and when it hears a signal on a particular band, it will then retransmit it on the other band, and vice versa. So, the first thing I'm going to do is change this right-hand side to the 70 sems band. Okay, so we'll just pick this frequency here, and I'm just going to turn off here because I see signals coming in. Quite a few signals coming in there, we are. and this is connected to a dummy load, so it shouldn't go out anyway. The next thing we need to do before we put it in crossband repeat mode is to set any tones that we would like. So, for example, on this left hand side, if we wanted to set a tone, we could go to the frequency here. This is menu number 40 on this particular radio, and set the tone frequency. We could then go to menu 41 and turn it to encode or encode and decode. So let's say we just wanted encode for now. Same for the other side. If we wanted to encode or decode the 70 sem side, we would go through the same process. Once we've done that, we press the menu button and we go to menu number 45, which is the crossband repeat menu. We then press the button to accept it and then press the button again for it to start. This is now in crossband repeat mode. As a radio itself it doesn't function now and we need to give it an input to make it work. So I'm just programming in my handheld radio here and first of all I'm going to key up without a tone oh excuse me with a tone here so as you can see, it goes through and transmits on both sides. It receives on the left side and transmits on the right hand side. OK, if the tone was incorrect, it would not open up the repeater and therefore any signals out there that you don't want that are accidentally on the same frequency will not be transmitted. To get this radio out of crossband, repeat mode. We just press the menu button again. You'll see the main symbol there come back and you know that you're back on normal radio operation. So I hope this has been informative and interesting for you. Please like, share and subscribe and hit the bell notification icon if you'd like notifications of new videos as they come up. Thanks very much.